when I first learned about the switching of the e-buses to the depot, my expectation, to be honest, I thought it would be more problematic <laughs> in terms of um, the batteries. Um, would it last all day? Stuff like that, yeah? But yes, pleasantly surprising, it works. I was excited because we were the first to have these type of buses in London. It was coming to Howard Depot and we were going to be rolling out onto a brand new route that we got at that time, the 63. The bus is easier to start, for sure. Um, you don't have to hear that sound, it's, it's quiet. It's just a nice drive, comfortable. I feel proud driving one in London. I love it, even though it makes us busy as, a, as bus drivers, because obviously everyone wants to wait for this bus. Wouldn't you? <laughs> So here at Transport UK London Bus, we operate 11% of the TfL network. We operate 33 million miles every year, and we carry 145 million customers every year on the fleet of 900 vehicles across six depots. So the Mayor's aspiration and TfL's objective is to completely decarbonise all of their bus network by 2030. We're very much aligned to that as Transport UK London Bus, so we're making sure that contract by contract, we're moving the fleet over to a fully electric fleet. So for us, we needed somebody that we could have confidence in delivery, making sure that they understood our needs, our requirements, a global solution that was delivered locally, given the challenges for the depot. Each one of our six sites has got completely different challenges. So recognising that this is the toughest depot that we have, we needed somebody that knew what they were talking about. And Siemens have global expertise in DC charging, so that led us very quickly to Siemens to energise our depot here at Walworth. So Walworth Depot is our second largest depot. It's the fifth largest depot in London. We operate two and a half million electric miles from here and about five million miles in total. From the very beginning, we were clear with Siemens that the depot had to be fully operational throughout all of the phases and all of the projects. So the pleasant surprise was there were no surprises. Uh, they did exactly what they said they were gonna do. It was delivered on time. We, we had full operation throughout and it's been working smoothly ever since. So it's the C-Charge unit. We've got a number of different variations of those with the very latest technology that's been installed recently as part of the third phase. And that makes sure that the technology that we use from the Siemens hardware is very much matched with the, all the technology from the new vehicles and the different generations of new vehicles and battery chemistries as well. So we're very much partnering with the right people to make sure we've got the very latest solutions installed. So with Siemens, every project is a big spokes project, so we can satisfy any needs from the client. In this case, in World War, we had to think a way to charge 34 buses at the same time, so it doesn't affect the power on the grid. So we install a new substation just behind the LV room, and then we have the LV board that is connected to a bus bar, and all these products are Siemens products. And then from the bus bar, it goes to the highland where there are drop-down cables that they feed the chargers. In this low voltage room, we have um, six um, charging center and they are connected to six dispenser. And the advantage is that we can expand for the future. So if they want more power, we can add more unit. We can change the layout for the future and the customer as well can understand easily how to operate it because it's literally plug in and play component where they can start to charge straight away. So the scope of products and systems that Siemens offer customers is really broad and quite unique in the market. Spanning from offerings, you know, relating to the equipment that's used to connect the depot to the electrical grid, of course, Siemens have their own chargers, their own hardware that's specifically designed for depots in this case. And we have software that monitors and controls the system throughout the day 24-7. And we complement that with many levels of, of service for our customers depending on their requirements. So for example, here at Walworth, uh, we're on 24-7 cover. And what's really cool is that we can help our customers avoid needing upfront capital so we can finance the projects for them. And we see this as a real enabler to help them get charging and get moving. So post-implementation, you know, following the initial works, the, the journey really only begins. So we, we've co we're constantly monitoring our, our chargers and our charger infrastructure to ensure it's at a high level of performance. And I think the real advantage of Siemens here is that this is an ecosystem, a global ecosystem of learning. 
So we're constantly, you know, working with other regions throughout the world. We're also working on similar projects. So we have that real diverse, I would say, ecosystem in terms of knowledge sharing. And it generally is a, a strong culture within Siemens to continually try to get better. At the end of the day, for projects like Walworth, collaboration is key. No one can do it alone, so that's why we need a strong ecosystem of partners. At the end of the day, I know that Siemens Solution lets me provide a good customer service and enable the customer to do what they do best to keep London moving. At the end of the day, partnering with Siemens has unlocked the full potential of this depot and will do for many years to come. At the end of the day, it's the future. This is what this is best for the city. It's best for everyone. It's best for the customers, for the drivers. It's eco-friendly. So at the end of the day, it's the future. <laughs>